Hello and welcome to Limited Edition, Muskoka Woods in Your Home. My name is Spark and I'll be your moderator for this time. As you can see, if you're live with us now, we have a chat with a code of conduct posted and there are already some people saying hello, it's so great to see you. I see Carrington and Riley and Shayla, we're so glad you're here. If you're watching this later on YouTube or Facebook, we'd still love to hear from you in the comments below about how you enjoyed baking with Bex and where you were watching from. For now, I'll say hello and give everyone a couple more minutes to join us before we begin. As a note, we will be baking using an oven today, so if you haven't already, go get your parent or guardian or an older sibling to go help you turn on the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's where we'll be baking at today. Oh, I see other people saying hello. Hi, Ainsley and Savannah. Lily saying hello to everyone. Hi, Grace and Annika and Carrington. Oh, Riley's from Muskoka, that's awesome. I'm actually up in Muskoka today, from Muskoka Woods, actually reporting to you live. Um, hi, Anderson, hi, Sam. Hi, Carrington in Oakville, and Crystal in Toronto. Hi, Kins, it's so good that you're here with us. Oh, so many hellos. Hi, Josh, glad you're here. You guys might have noticed I'm rocking something extra special today. It's a tie-dyed Muskoka wood sweater, which is pretty awesome. It's from our camp store, which is online if you haven't already seen it. And it's actually a sneak preview of what week eight limited edition is going to be. But I'm not gonna tell you anymore because I'll leave that to orbit. Oh, I see Chloe is with us and Grace from Markham. Lily's here from Toronto. Dawson's a YouTuber, that's pretty awesome. Oh, Nuggets is joining us. Oh, from a kingdom far, far away. We're so glad you're with us, Nuggets. All right, it seems like we've got lots of people joined in. Just as a reminder, we are baking today, so make sure you have a parent or guardian helping you out, turning on that oven. It should be at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, preheating right now so we can get started. And we will be doing lots of fun things. Make sure you're washing your hands before we start. And we can't wait to introduce you to our good friend, Bex. So without further ado, Let's get this limited edition actually started. Hello and, Hello and welcome. My name is Orbit. We are so excited to have you a part of our limited edition activity experience. I don't know about you, but this summer I have a lot of time on my hands, which means that I have the ability to learn some awesome new skills this summer. Muskoka Woods, we want you to be a part of that as well. So come along, enjoy as we learn some awesome limited edition activities together. Welcome back to our Arts and Athletics um, Limited Edition Muskoka Woods live streams. I'm so excited to be here. We have done a whole month so far of these, which is so awesome. I've gotten to do everything from culinary to ball hockey, radio broadcasting. It has been so much fun. And you know, the best part for me has been learning alongside of all of you. Um, each week we've been highlighting some of you in what I like to call Orbits Out of This World Stars of the Week. And so I'm super excited to announce our two winners from this past week. Can I get a drum roll in the, the chat? <laughs> All right, this week we have Olivia and Sophia. You guys both submitted awesome um, voiceovers from our radio broadcasting. And we will be sending you guys an email letting you know who, yeah, congratulations, Olivia and Sophia. We're super excited. I'll be sending you an email to get all your information. You are going to be winning. I have my apron on here, um, but you will be winning an Arts and Ath or no, a limited edition t-shirt. So all that being said, you may be wondering, Orbit, where are you today? You, this looks a little bit familiar from a couple weeks ago. You're correct. Um, this week, we're going to be heading on and doing some baking, which is really awesome. And before we start, we actually want to let you know that we will be using the oven again, um, as well as we want you to make sure that your hands are washed. So if you need some help with the oven, no worries, grab a guardian, and who knows, maybe they can help you too. But without further ado, let me introduce our expert. This is Baking with Bex. Woo, woo, Bex is in the house. Yes, I am. So 
Vex is a long time a Skoka Wood pal of ours, not only knowledgeable in baking, but all things camp for sure. She's been a great help for me this summer. This is her 14th summer at That's camp. That's right. Yep. That's insane. Um, and more importantly, she was actually the head chef here at Muskoka Woods for five years, which is head baker, head not baker. head chef. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> got to know the difference. I'm yep. still learning. No, that's okay. But head baker, you know, you got to do a lot of different things while you were doing that. And rumor has it, you actually cooked or baked 500 <laughs> donuts in one day. Oh, is that rumor? I is don't that know. rumor? Spread it around. Let your friends know. Yeah. Um, to get to know Bex a little bit more, like every week, uh, we've prepared two truths and a lie. And for those of you just joining, each week we've asked our experts to give us two truthful statements and one lie. We're going to post it up here on the video, and we want you guys to guess. You can actually vote there. Um, so Bex, why don't you read those out for us, and please let us know in the comments slash voting which one you think it is all right guys so here are my two truths and a lie the first one is i have gone bungee jumping mm. the second one is i always give my real name at starbucks interesting and the third one is i have held a penguin a penguin a penguin what type of penguin oh well maybe a little blue penguin Mm, interesting. Well, yeah. please keep commenting. I see Noah, you asked, what will we be baking first? Um, while we comment the lie, we'll let you know that we actually are baking the banana chocolate chip muffins. So if you want to pull those ingredients uh, together, Annika is guessing that I always give my real name at Starbucks is the lie. We'll see. We'll get some more. Mm -hmm. Keep commenting. Keep voting. Um, I'm pretty stumped on these because these are awesome. You're yeah. part-time baker, part-time adventurous, part-time penguin enthusiast. Yeah, zoologist. <laughs> zoologist, <laughs> right, right. Interesting. We'll give you a couple more seconds. Dawson, I don't. I I have held a penguin. That's what Allison is saying. Um, I, I I can't wait. I need to know. I need to know. Let's let's see what you guys have voted for here. We'll scroll down. Okay, so 17 of you have guessed that I always give my real name at Starbucks, which you guys are good guessers because... With, that is a lie. That is the lie. Yeah. So tell us, what are the names that you use when you're at Starbucks? Well, because my name is Bex, but I am originally from New Zealand, I say it a lot more like Bex. Mm. And when I say it like Bex, it sounds a lot different to Canadians. So I will go in with my fake little Canadian accent and say my name is Sarah or Becky. And then they call that out instead. And I just learned this before we started that Bex is short <laughs> for Rebecca. Yep. Which is awesome. I love that name even more now. So. Yep. It's really short for Rebecca. Everyone, you guys feel free to call Bex Sarah in the chat or <laughs> Becky, whichever one you feel inclined to. But I think it's time for us to get started, right? All right, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our stations first. Mm -hmm. um, we will be doing the banana chocolate chip muffins. And we're just going to run through some of the tools and equipment that we're going to be using today just for the people that haven't done this before. I know there's a lot here. I'd yeah. love to learn what these all mean. Okay, so what you're going to need first is a nice big bowl. And the good thing about this recipe is you can do everything in this bowl. Then you're also going to be using different cups and tablespoons and teaspoons. Yes. So the big one is your one cup. And usually it says somewhere on the cup or on the, um, the tool what size it is. So you've got your one cup. You can have a half cup, a third cup. And a quarter cup is usually your smallest one. Allison said it. Your kitchen is amazing. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. World class chefs here. Yes. Bakers, my bad. My yeah. bad. Um, and then you're also going to be using a tablespoon, which is usually your biggest one. And then a teaspoon, which is usually um, a lot smaller. And then you can have a little quarter teaspoon, which is the little baby one usually. So we have a couple of those ones. If you don't have the correct tools, you can also make... Um, do with smaller things to make up bigger ones um, and yeah comment uh, in the chat if you need some help trying to figure out how much half a cup can make for one cup and things like that. Yeah, I passed fourth grade math so I'm pretty good at fractions. Oh that's so, great. Yeah that's, great. <laughs> that's, that's about it for my math skills okay. but we can figure it out. Okay so the very first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to cut up the butter because we need to melt that first. Okay. So um orbit what we're going to have you do is yeah. your butter is just here thank you and you're going to cut one third of a cup 
Now today we actually were supposed to have scales, but they happened to both break. The the real one and the backup scale both broke today. Uh -oh. So um, today we're going to get our sharp knife and we're going to cut our butter. So if you aren't able to use the knife, please get a guardian or someone to help you with that. And you're going to cut probably a chunk about half an inch wide. That look good there, That Max? looks great. Stunning. Okay, and now you're going to cut that up into chunks. Okay. Um, so that we can just put it into a cup and into the microwave. I already have one that I've done here, and I'm going to pop this in for about 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds into the microwave. Should I be putting it in this cup? Um, is that an empty cup? There's an egg in it. Yes, you can put it into that cup. Perfect. Okay. How's everyone doing so far? Are we learning alongside me? Let me know in the chat. I'm that having looks fun. Great. This yeah. is so far very easy back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so those chunks look awesome. Now, sometimes recipes will ask for something different than butter. They could ask for oil, um, they could ask for different types of oil as well. So it could be vegetable oil, canola oil. Um, but today we're using butter because it's absolutely delicious. Mm. Okay. I love butter. Yeah. So mine it just has a couple more seconds left. Perfect. I'll stay over here. Okay. Now be careful if your cup is hot. Mine's not too bad. How long did you put it in for? I there? put mine in for 30 seconds. Perfect. Okay. And there we go. Perfect. And while that is going, we can now mash up our bananas. So someone's asking here, Deanna, how much butter? Just to remind so them. It's one third of a cup, which is about, off the top of my head, 80 milligrams or 80 grams if you're weighing it out. And I see here on this thing, I don't know if this is how accurate it is, but it does give you a bit of measurements yeah. on the actual So sometimes paper. on the butter wrapper, there'll be measurements as well. You can use that to help you out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to peel our bananas. So we don't need the butter right yet, but we want to get it melted first. And you're going to use all three uh, Banana. bananas, and you're just going to throw them in. Now, the cool thing about bananas mm -hmm. is the more brown it is, the sweeter it is, because that's the sugars kind of developing. Interesting. So these, all these little brown spots on the banana, that's great. My dad used to sing me a song about bananas that yeah. was like, Potassium. Eat your bananas for potassium. <laughs> okay. Because I used to get really bad Charlie horses as a kid. And did the potassium help? It did. It always did. Okay. So I'm going to throw my banana skins out oh, there. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. And, and if you've had ever had a Charlie horse that needed <laughs> potassium, let us know in the chat below. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to grab a fork today, and I'm just going to start mashing up my banana. So they're just all in the bowl. Sometimes you need to hold the bowl or put it against the table. I'm just going to put that in there. And just mash it. And grab this really quickly too. And you just want to kind of get most of the big chunks out. Here we go. Okay. Mash potato. Banana. Mash the banana. Okay. So you can see I am mashing the banana here. Oh, but you can come into your screen a little bit more. There you go. Now people can see. Here, yeah. friends. So it is three bananas. Um, and that's just because it's going to make it really nice and soft and fluffy. This is actually surprisingly really fun. <laughs> if you don't happen to have three bananas, two would work for today. But definitely this recipe is absolutely delicious with three bananas. And it's a great way of getting rid of those brown bananas when you need to. Making banana bread, banana muffins. You can put these in the freezer and then warm them up for breakfast. But they do last about um, put the a week. the muffins in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I've mashed up my banana. It's looking really good there. How does that look? That's looking really good. You've got a few big chunks, but that's all right. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Okay, so now it is time to crack the egg into the bowl. Have you cracked an egg before, Orbit? I have. Okay, perfect. Luckily, I have. <laughs> so if you need some help, don't forget to ask a guardian because we don't want to get any of the egg shell in. Um, but I'm going to crack this egg on the side of the bowl. And there we go. Are we going to be done with this fork now? Um, I'll just keep it. In. Yeah. I'm here actually I just going to use... Yep, here you go. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Have you cracked an egg before, Robin? <laughs> Oh, all right, and that is why we always bring back our eggs. Oh no, that's totally fine. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm maybe gonna... you should give me some instructions on how to do it. Okay, so there's an egg, and there's also a cloth for you here. Oh, Bex, you're just so well prepared. Thank you <laughs> yeah. so much. I've broken a few eggs, and here's a garbage. You can just put it in here while I'm doing this. Want to give me a rundown on how to okay, crack, so an egg. crack an egg? And I happen to have a few backup eggs. What you're gonna do is you're going to tap it on the side of your cup or your bowl or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Um, you're not going to do it too soft, but you're not going to do it too hard. And see, so I've just got like a little crack coming in. And then you can slowly put your thumbs in and pull apart and it comes out. Okay, we can do this. <gasps> oh, this is no. great. You're learning something new today. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So... Did you crack it against this or? Um, you can do it against, um, if you hold your bowl, you'll have more resistance. Okay. So that'll be better. I think that's yep. what happened. Yeah. I promise. I'm nervous It's now. okay. You can do it. That's it. Perfect. I can hear it. There you go. Amazing. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just going to grab the fork that I just used and I'm just going to mix that egg into the banana. Okay. And that's just really lightly beating the egg in. Here, do you want to pull it right here? How many eggs? That was just one egg. It was egg. just the one egg, yeah. Do you want to pull it down? There we go. Looks like a nice ooey gooey mess. Yeah. But no shells, everyone. But no shells. No that's shells. amazing. Okay, so now we're going to add in our sugar, which is going to be three quarters of a cup. So Got you it. can get your quarter cup and add in three scoops, or you can grab your half cup and add in a half cup and one of your quarter scoops. Kind of just depends what you have around. Do you put the butter in the mix? Not yet. Not yet, but you can do it at this step. Yes. I just like to throw the sugar in first so that the hot butter doesn't cook the cold egg. Right. Yeah, otherwise you scramble your egg sometimes. So I am going to put three of my one quarter scoops in which is one slash four for my friends <laughs> there you go she knows her fractions <laughs> oh, okay and we're doing three of these sorry yes because we need to put three quarters of a cup of white sugar in mm. i love sugar i know it's so good what's your favorite sugary treat at the camp store Ooh. I really love the blue slushies. Mmm, that yeah. sounds good. They're so good. I had a red one once. It was very yeah. good. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab a spatula. Got it. And I'm just going to give that a really quick mix in. Do you want to pull go. it over? Nothing Ooh, too that fancy. looks kind of scrumptious. Yep. <laughs> and then now I'm going to throw in the vanilla and the melted butter. Got it. So for the vanilla, we will be using one teaspoon. So I'm going to grab. Oh, Noah said the first time I cracked an egg, it exploded everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Noah, for making me feel more included. That's good. We're it's all okay. in this together, right? Yeah, we are all in this together. So you're going to grab some vanilla. Got it. And today our vanilla happens to be in a cup, but usually they're in bottles. And you're just going to pour one teaspoon out. Got it. Okay. That's one teaspoon, which will be one of your smaller ones. That looks great. Perfect. Okay, and then this is the point where we're going to put in our melted butter. Got it. And we can just put that right in. Oh, mm. Riley too. Thank you guys. You're making me feel so much better. Okay. I promise though, I have cracked in it. <laughs> That's okay. It takes a lot of practice. Yeah. So now your mixture is going to be really, really liquidy. But that's okay, because we're going to be putting in the flour to make it a lot mm. more solid soon. Again, this kind of looks good. Like, I would just eat it like this. Like I a bet it actually sweet. tastes really good with all the sugar on the Yes. Butter. Okay, Banana. so people asking how much, how much of the butter, how much of the vanilla. The vanilla, vanilla is one teaspoon. Okay. So now we're going to put in our flour. Got it. So the flour is going to be one and a half cups. Perfect. So you can grab your big one cup. And you can scoop out. Now, I didn't level this off. I just kind of shook it off the top. 
Yep, that's it. Yep. Perfect. And we can put that in. And then... This is one cup, everyone. One cup. There you go. I don't know if y'all can see that. There. There's the one cup. Okay. You're going to throw that in. And then you're also going to put half a cup in. Got it. Um, so I don't have a half a cup. For our right. friends at home, what would be the best way to go about this? So then you can put two of your quarter cups in. Awesome. Thanks for the advice, Beth. That's my pleasure. Okay. You what you're also going to put in with your flour today is your baking powder and your baking soda. Got it. So these are different, they have different strengths, and this is what helps your muffins rise up. Mm. So baking powder is gonna be one teaspoon. One teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh. mm -hmm. Perfect, and we'll just level it off. And also one teaspoon of baking soda. So it's nice and easy today. That's nice and even. Yeah. Teaspoon. That's correct. correct. Yeah, teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you please slow down? Can we slow for down? sure. Definitely. I can. Don't worry. We, we can slow okay. down for sure. And we will just put in our salt as we're waiting for people yeah. to catch up. So the salt is going to be half a teaspoon so it's probably one of your smaller teaspoons yes um and our salt is actually a little bit clumpy today because it's really really humid up it here is. okay so yep you yeah. grab your salt there that's it perfect and i'm gonna grab some salt so maybe while i'm mixing this around do you want to go through those last couple the dry ingredients yeah definitely i'll mix it okay so that was we've added in our egg and we lightly beat that into the banana mm -hmm. then we added in our sugar which was three quarters of a cup we added in our vanilla which was one teaspoon and we added in that butter that we melted in at the very start and that was one third of a cup then we just added in our flour which was one and a half cups of flour then we added in our baking powder and our baking soda, they're not the same things, mm -hmm. and they were both one teaspoon each. And we just added in our salt, which was half a teaspoon, which is um, the little one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now one of the things about muffins is you don't want to over mix it. So you've actually done a fantastic job oh, perfect. Um, of mixing that in. So I'm now going to mix mine in. Almost folding it in. Yep, so we're folding it in. And thank you, Spark, for adding in those ingredients there. Very helpful yes, for our friends. Okay. Now, we are going to add in some chocolate chips today just to make these a little bit extra delicious. I think they're actually fine without it, but mm -hmm. I absolutely love adding in chocolate chips. Of course. Usually because I nibble on a few while I'm baking it. Um, so someone asked in the chat to guess how many aprons you actually have oh goodness gracious and someone said 14 aprons i wonder if anyone else let us know in the um chat yeah how, how many, many aprons do you think? rebecca what is after the flower those are all those right above you that's that comment right there that spark said you can add those all in to your yes so mix. it was the flour the baking powder the baking soda and the salt and you can also throw the chocolate chips in, which is what we will do right now. Perfect. So for the chocolate chips, we're going to put in about half a cup. Mm -hmm. You can put in a little bit less if you like. You don't want to put too much more in, though. Um, otherwise, it's going to be basically just chocolate with a little bit of banana muffin running through it. Right. Now, that actually could be really, <laughs> really, really nice. So I'm not going to complain about that. So why don't you grab some chocolate chips for there? Sure. And while I'm doing that, people are guessing nine. Nine, five. five. This is my half quarter so i'm doing two i'm mm -hmm. not just cheating and trying to get more so um, how many is it i would have to say that collecting eight friends is a bit of a guilty pleasure oh and i probably have about 20. i know isn't 20? that bad That's <laughs> but i don't buy them all i'm just gonna say this one was given to me my auntie made it for me very specifically oh. and the flower that is on it is a flower that's native to new zealand called oh. The Pakutakawa. I love that. And it blooms just at Christmas time because 
Christmas is summertime in New Zealand, and so we call this one of our Christmas trees. Oh, yeah, the so. Bakuda Kawa. <laughs> That was a great effort at saying it. <laughs> I, I applaud you. Pakuda Kawa. Yeah. Okay. Everyone comment Pakuda Kawa <laughs> to be featured as Orbit Star of the Week next week. Okay. If okay. you know how to spell it, submit it to us yeah. and we'll send you a t shirt. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to fold in our chocolate chips. And you really just want to mix your um, muffin batter until there's, you can't see any uh, flour or any white anymore. Right. Um, you don't want to over mix it. Okay. And while we're doing this, I just want to remind you that if you are baking alongside of us and do want to be featured next week, we want to send you a t-shirt. So make sure to send us in your creations or even photos of you doing <coughs> learning alongside of us. Ask your guardian to take a photo of you with all the ingredients. We'd love to see that. Um, it always makes me excited to know that I'm not the only one who cracked my <laughs> egg and splattered it all over the counter, you know? So let us know. How does that look? That looks really, really good. Well done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to show you two options of how to bake your muffins today. One is with your muffin cups, and one is by spraying the pan down. Mm -hmm. So you can grab your cooking or baking spray and give it a little shake. And then you kind of just hold it away. You want to get all the angles. Sometimes I do this over the sink so that I don't get it on my working um, area. Because mm -hmm. so you, you want to bake clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Okay. So, Orbit, today we're going to give you the muffin cups. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so you can uh, pull the tray closer to you. Thank you. Um, I'm also going to show you two different ways to scoop it in. One is with an ice cream scoop. And this one really helps you measure it out. Nice. The other way is just with two spoons um, if you don't have an ice cream scoop. Got it. Um, so why don't – did I give you two spoons? Yes. I got you have. two spoons. Okay. So if you're going to be doing the two spoons method, get your bowl nice and close to your pan. And then just take a really big scoop and push it in with the other one. You want your muffin tin to be about two thirds or a quarter full, a uh, three quarters full. Sorry, um, did I give you two smaller spoons? Is that big enough? Um, you might just need to top it off a little bit, but that's looking really good. Thank you. Okay, so nice big scoop, and then you push it in. Got it. Yeah, these are looking good already. I know. Okay. We're just doing big scoops and pushing in. You yep. can also bake these in like mini muffin pans. Oh, yeah. Um, and which are really delicious because you can just pop them in. What are those things called? Like mini bites? You can get them in the pack. Oh, yeah. One bite brownies? Or yeah, one bite brownies. It's like one bite muffins. muffins. If you're going to be using your ice cream scoop, you just scoop it in and it goes in. Like oh, that. Lily's using the ice cream scoop. That's awesome. Let us know in the chat. Is anyone else? having a hard time like me. <laughs> no, this is, that's all right. I have probably made thousands and thousands of muffins. So this, to me, <laughs> I do this all the time. Um, but when I was first learning, I was making messes. There yeah. was ba like muffin batter everywhere. I think so, this is the first set of muffins I've ever made. Ever made? Yeah. Wow. Maybe with my mom like once. Two scoops for me. Grace, so nice to hear. Should I just pull that one out? Nope, that's all good. Because what's going to be easier is once it bakes, and you can just scrape it off the pan. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll flip it. or I'm just going to do these ones closer. That sounds great. Maybe I'll pull these ones here if that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try the scoop? Um, I, can, um... I, I, I think I got the hand of it. Okay. Oh, someone said give Orbit the ice cream <laughs> scoop. <laughs> okay. I will just sanitize this. There we go. Okay, here is the muffin scoop. Oh, okay. Let's try this one out. Okay, so if you have scooped your muffins already, you can place these in the oven. Um, just be careful when you first open that door um, as you will get that hot blast of air. This is where we would love for you to grab your guardian yeah. if you don't feel comfortable. Yeah. So I'm gonna slowly open my oven. Yes, okay, wait, I want one of these for sure. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to put my muffins in. I'm also going to set my timer 
Um, it kind of depends on your oven how long it's going to take. I've written down here 20 to 25 minutes. It's always a good idea just to put your timer for slightly below that so that if your oven is hotter for some reason or if things are baking faster, then you don't bake, um, burn them by not putting the right timer on. So I'm actually going to set the timer for about 18 minutes and we'll go from there. <laughs> and those are looking great now that you're scooping them with <laughs> the ice cream scoop. Thanks, Bex. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that one fell again. It's fine. It's fine. That's okay. You okay. know what? I think this is good. This, this is, is looking enough. great. So why don't you open up and door? Sure. And then you can pop it in. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Yep. And Back you can pop it on the bottom tray there. Got it. Perfect. That looks great. Okay. Love well it. done. Okay, so. How long do they bake for? So they can bake between 20 and 25 minutes, but we're putting our timer on for slightly less so that we're checking it to make sure they don't overbake and burn. So yep. I put my timer on for 18 minutes, and then I will check it um, then and maybe do a few more minutes and a few more minutes after that. Love it. Okay. So while we put this stuff away, make sure to be asking Bex any questions. I'm just going to throw this back here. Yeah, definitely. Right now. Um, and we're not just making one thing today. We're, <laughs> we're making, making two. We definitely are. So. Okay, so we have a question that's come in. It says, Bex, when did you start to love baking? I started to love baking about... I want to say 14 years ago when I kind of started here at Muskoka Woods. And then when I got the job at Muskoka Woods for um, being the baker, I absolutely just loved it. And I had so much inspiration to do crazy things. Um, I had the opportunity to make the biggest, craziest cakes. One time I made a cake for Classic, which is uh, the last week of summer camp here that had a smoke machine through the middle yes. and a teapot on the top and there was smoke coming through it um, and it was just so fun. Um, I've made giant mushrooms. I've made um, a BB-8 from Star Wars. No I made way. like a life-size BB-8 once out of Rice Krispie. So just using my creative like side has been so, so fun. Um, and I just love doing all sorts of different baking. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't think I've ever thought about like baking in a creative way. Like it's definitely a creative outlet where you can try so many different things. Yeah, so. it is. That's really cool. Okay, guys. So we are going to jump um, to our second recipe, which is going to be the single chocolate chip cookie today. And this is going to be the cutest little chocolate chip cookie you've ever seen because yep. it bakes just one, which is amazing. So no sharing. Yes, <laughs> it's all for you. <laughs> so if you want to grab a slightly smaller bowl than what we used last time, um, and you get to make everything inside this bowl. Perfect. Which is great. Um, so we need to um, soften some butter, which um, is here. So I'm going to um, grab the sanitizer. We use our mana wrap it here. Mm -hmm. And... I am going to cut the butter up for us. Perfect. Now you only need one tablespoon of butter. Again, you can kind of eyeball this rather than having to weigh it out or use an actual scoop for it. And again, I have probably done this hundreds of thousands of times, so I get pretty good at guessing the amounts. But this is about how much you're looking at, about the size of a toonie, or a couple of like sugar cubes. And how thick around. would that be? Um, about a centimeter. And if you kind of like hold up your tablespoon, it's kind of how much fits in there too. Perfect. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to use. There's a second one there for you. Thank you. Um, and because my butter has been sitting out for a while, it's actually pretty soft. Um, so I can actually smush it. So I'm going to put that in. If your butter is still hard, if it's just come from the fridge, you can pop it in the microwave for not even 10 seconds, like eight seconds, just to soften it up a little bit. So you can put it back into that mug that you used before and so soften it up. Just a couple questions here we have. What are we making right now? This is the single chocolate chip cookie. Yep. It's all on our website if you don't have the recipes already. Mm -hmm. 
And how much butter, just to reiterate? One tablespoon. One so the biggest spoon, spoon that you have. Got okay. it. Okay. So we are going to mix in our flour, which is two tablespoons of flour. Tablespoon. Tablespoons, which is the big one. So what is, why is it called tablespoon versus teaspoon? Do you know? Um, so when you think about, um, you know, when you're at a fancy dinner party and they're, they're laying out all the different spoons. So the tablespoon would be the one that's almost like um, that you'd eat your dessert with. Nice ah. and big, sits on the table. A teaspoon is what you would stir your tea, the drink. Like a with. pot of tea. A pot of, cup of tea, love. Cup of tea, love. Cup of tea. I say very well, yep. very well. Hip, hip. <laughs> so then you would just have a smaller teaspoon or a smaller spoon, mm -hmm. um, and that's where that measurement comes Interesting. from. Interesting. Yeah. The more you know. I know. I put you on the spot there for that one. <laughs> I really, I did dig back for that one. I don't know if that's true, guys. I just kind of went with what She's I think is correct. Lies. <laughs> Rumor has it. Rumor has it. <laughs> uh, so that was two tablespoons of flour. Got it. Then we're going to put in one tablespoon of brown sugar, which we have some pots of that oh out, but you might have to open up a bag. The and brown, the muffins already smell good. Yeah, they smell really good. <laughs> So brown sugar sometimes um, condenses in. It's a little mm. bit more wet. And so you just want like a good scoop of that. Put that in. Mm. And then we're going to put in some baking powder. Now the baking powder is just a tiny little amount because we're only making the one cookie. Right. So it's a quarter teaspoon. Should be the very smallest the smallest spoon. amount of tea, love. Yep, just a tiny bit of tea. Got it. Okay, so that is going to be... A quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Perfect. Which, that. Kim said that her muffins are smelling good already, too. Oh, that's good. I can't wait to see photos of everyone's. I know. Make sure to send us in those. Yeah. Okay. So you can grab a spatula or a spoon or whatever utensils you have around. I'm just going to grab a spatula. And I'm just kind of, I'm not quite touching the butter yet. I'm just mixing in the soft um, the sugar and the flour together. And then maybe I will actually grab a fork just to mush that butter in. Got it. I'm going to use a spoon. Yeah. And you're just kind of really like pushing that soft butter. And if your butter's a little bit melted, that's great as well. You know what? I think I need to pursue my new passion. <laughs> I will no longer be doing limited edition, and I will just be doing a baking show. Catch me on Rachel Ray. <laughs> Bex, actually, no. What am I saying? Bex, Catch me on Bex Bex Ray. Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll see you on Cake Boss or something. You know, fun fact, I used to live near where the Cake Boss was filmed. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That is a fun fact. And then they opened a shop, like, right in my town. Did you go there? Yeah. Oh. And my friend actually worked there. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. It was good. Okay. Um, okay, next we're going to add in some milk. And today we need half a tablespoon of milk. So you're, if you don't have a half tablespoon measurement, you're just going to need to eyeball it. Okay. So you can grab your tablespoon um, measurement. And then, again, our milk is in a cup today. Um, typically, you'll be pouring this out of a bag or a carton, and we're just going to grab about half, just so I can see a little bit of the top still. I have a pressing question for yes. you, Dex. Is your milk bagged in New Zealand? It is not. I found that very weird when I first came to Ontario. What is this? How so is it in work? the gallon jug, too, or how is um, it? No, it's probably... Carton? Well, it's in, like, a jug, but we don't use gallons. Oh, so okay. I'm I guess it's, like, two liters, maybe? Yeah. That's probably what the same that we used to. Yeah. I had the exact same thing when I moved. I was like, what is it? Why is this in a bag? Yeah. Okay, so now we're just going to mix that milk in. Oh, and it's gonna I see. It's going to feel kind of thick. You it's kind of get... starting to... Yeah. Do we want to pull it down here? Yeah. So we... Comment down below. Should I be a hand model? <laughs> okay. Ooh. Now we can also throw in some chocolate chips. But the fun thing about this recipe is you can throw in whatever you want. Yes. So we have a few different options. We want to see your comments in the chat. I have some sprinkles. 
I have some coconut, I have some chocolate chips, and I also have some marshmallows. What do you want us to put in our um, cookies, our individual cookies? Yeah. All of them, some of them, you'll see here, these are the options. Mm -hmm. You guys need to decide for us which one should we put in. Now, I really okay. hope you guys don't pick an ingredient that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> what one do you like? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the biggest marshmallow fan. Okay. But that's okay. That's all right. I'm going to throw in a few little sprinkles. I'll grab a scoop. And I'm going to throw in, what else do you want? All of them. Coconut? Coconut for the win. Okay. Am I going to throw in all of them? You know what? Why not? Why not? I'll do all of them as well. Okay. And I'm going to have marshmallow. We have really big marshmallows, so I'm actually just going to rip this in half. Doo. Okay, I will hop out of the way. You can grab some there. Thank you. Here and I'm I just going to mix these in because we want to get them into the oven. Okay. This is looking really good. Here now comes the fun part in that you get to use your hands a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. These look like those... Um... That's, that's a lot of mix-ins. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should have... It's, look, it's looking great, though. You know what? It is going to taste so good. Okay, I'm going to yeah. just... That not. looks fantastic. <laughs> Wait, let's show the, the crowd. <laughs> you just want to... Yeah, that's okay. I should have really um, been a bit more specific oh, on that. No. So before I start mixing this with my hands, I'm going to grab the tray that I'm going to put it on. Now, today I have one of these silicone mats that I'm going to use, and this is reusable, um, but we also have... Um, Orbit is using just some tin foil, or if you have some baking paper, or even if you just butter or spray a pan, you can do that as well. That's a lot of sprinkles, yes. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just grab the cookie dough and kind of start smushing it together so that it all comes together, plus I get all those sprinkles and good things. I have now switched my passion again. Do you know those like <laughs> cookie dough stores? Yes. That's what we'll start. That would start. be amazing. So it should just be a bit bigger than a golf ball. And you're just going to put it right in the middle of your tray. Perfect. And you're just, you're not going to push it down too much, just a little bit. Got just it. kind of like a hockey puck. There Perfect. Okay. And we're going to throw that in our oven right now. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Okay. So in our oven, we don't have room to add both of them. So we're just going to put orbits. And then once we take the muffins out, I will throw mine in. Okay. That is looking great. Look at us. Now I'm going to set a timer for about eight minutes. What I've written down on the recipe is 10 to 12 minutes. Again, it kind of just depends on your oven and how hot it is. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yes, yeah, so you want to do it slightly before you want to be taking it out. So awesome. we're going to put it in for eight minutes. I'm just going to grab some sanitizer here. Okay. Now, I guess while we're waiting, I think it'd be an awesome time to ask our good friend Beck some questions. So keep sending yeah. those in here. Oh, Sam wants to know, what's your favorite flavor of cake? Oh, my favorite flavor of cake. That's so hard because there are so many flavors. Yeah. Um, I can tell you the one that I do not like, which is going to be controversial. Oh, my goodness. I absolutely hate red velvet cake. <gasps> I know. How dare I? Um, and cream cheese frosting. Okay. Yes, cream cheese frosting. Okay. I like that. I just really don't like red velvet, which I know it's just chocolate, <laughs> but I don't like red food dye. So I'm so sorry, everyone. Hello. My old <laughs> yeah. We have how long have you been baking? Um, I've been baking since I was just a little kid with my mom, but professionally I've been baking for about 10 years. Wow. Um, I do wedding cakes. I do birthday cakes. Um, kind of anything and everything you need, I can make it. You know, Kins and Nuggets over on Thursday will be getting married soon. Oh, Maybe you can make us their I can make them wedding, wedding cake. cake. Oh, I would absolutely love to. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So Riley wants to know, what's your favorite thing to bake? I mean, wedding cakes are really fun, but there's a lot of pressure with them mm -hmm. because it's someone's it's be wedding perfect. day. Yeah. yeah. So I really like making cookies. You can just throw anything into them, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, cupcakes are great too, especially when you need to cut off a little bit of the top and you can just snack on it. Oh. You know, I, when I used to make cookies all the time too, I would make them because I was hungry and then by the end <laughs> of making them, I wasn't hungry anymore because yeah. the whole time I'm just, I don't eat cookie dough. You didn't hear that from me or Bex. That was a different <laughs> camp who told you to do that. Don't eat cookie dough, but 
you know, and sometimes yeah. you just got to eat a little something. Sometimes you just have to. You just have to. Yep. You know, I have a question for you, Bex. I just feel like you're just so passionate about this stuff. And it's mm-hmm. been really cool to watch that even with learning from you. And I'd love to know, like, where did that passion come from? Or what is that? What drives you to, like, be so passionate about baking? Yeah. So I read a quote once that said, no one turns down food or flowers. And it just really struck me that that's so true. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you're just feeling a bit down or you're just having a hard lot in life and things are really, really hard. And, you know, you're never going to ask or maybe you feel like you can't ask for help, but no one ever turns down food or flowers. True. So once I heard that and, uh, you know, when things started to get a bit tough here in the world Mm -hmm. with the pandemic, so we... Um, I live here at camp actually. And so things were just really weird for a while. And, um, some of my bosses who work here, they were in lots and lots of meetings Mm -hmm. and that quote kind of came back to me. No one turns down food or flowers. And I thought, wow, they probably don't want flowers right now. Yeah. They're probably really (laughs) hungry. And so I, um, told them Tuesday night, you are just going to work and I'm going to make your dinner for you and your family. And they came down, they grabbed it and they didn't have to think about dinner that night and they never asked for it. I just knew that if I can just make them some food and help them out, that's what I can do because no one's going to turn it down. Wow. Well, I'll challenge all of our guests who are on today to think of that quote maybe in the next couple of weeks. No Mm -hmm. one does turn down food or flowers. So maybe you go pick some wildflowers for your mom or make a snack for a cousin or a friend, whoever's around in your yeah. household, because no one turns down for your flowers. That's so true. There's so many people out there you can help. So just keep that quote in your mind. It's I super, love that quote. It's super simple as I'm well. I'm going to get tattooed or something. That's oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's ask some more questions here. We have Savannah asking, have you ever made a butter tart? I have made a butter tart. The trick with butter tarts is it can go from completely liquid to completely solid in mm. like 30 seconds. So oh, you wow. have to watch butter tarts really, really um, closely. So I have made them, but I haven't always been successful with them, but I'm striving to perfect them. I love that. Yeah. We have another one here. Anderson has asked, have you ever made homemade ice cream? I have made homemade ice cream. She's oh, made it all. It was <laughs> so delicious. Um, I think I ate it all by myself. Um, I, I think it was chocolate or like double chocolate. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Mm -hmm. I love ice cream so much. I love that. Yeah. And I hear, here we have, have you ever been on a cooking or baking show? No, I haven't. I'm too scared, (laughs) which I know I'm on this one, right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. This is her debut, but if you guys think Bex would be amazing on a cooking show or baking show, let us know in the comments (laughs) because I would love to see that. Yeah. Um, do you eat cupcakes like a sandwich? Very good question. (laughs) That is a good question. This is a debate in itself. Yes, I do. Of course. But it kind of depends on the icing. If there are sprinkles, I probably won't Mm. because I just want to see the sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Um, but if there are no sprinkles, then yeah, you rip the bottom off, you put it on the top and then you eat it like a cupcake and it's, um, um, sorry, eat it like a sandwich Mm. and it's amazing. So I guess next summer, maybe one of the baking things could be learning <laughs> yeah. how to actually bake them like that. Put the icing in the middle. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. <laughs> that would be awesome. I'd be here all the time. Yeah. And so someone was asking about the m- brownie mugs. And yes. we decided that we would love for you to actually... Oh, sorry. The time is good? going off. Perfect. Well, yeah. she grabs that out. I'll just say, we'd love for you to practice the skills that we taught you today and use that recipe, which is on our website, and actually try it out yourself. We'd love to see that. Oh, we have I do for the baking show. Bex would be my fan <laughs> favorite on a baking show. Aww. That's awesome. So again, we're pulling stuff out now. Um, before you munch on your muffins, make sure to send us a photo mm-hmm. of you and the baking that you've done today because we want to send you a limited edition t-shirt. Um, they look amazing yeah make sure you're grabbing your oh, oven mitts make sure your yeah. hands are dry you're getting an adult to help you or someone that's older a sibling mm. a guardian so these are the chocolate chip oh okay. no my cookie that's <laughs> kind of supposed to happen <laughs> okay what did someone say how can you tell if the muffins are done okay so i will just pop this down just close the door while i show you So with my ones, because they were up a little bit higher, you can see that they are brown around and they're doing really, really well. And then 
um, ever so slightly, you can touch the top and it will spring back. Mm. If it leaves a little bit of a dent, um, it's not quite ready. So we'd put it in for maybe one more minute or two more minutes. Always set your timer because you think that you'll remember one minute, but you don't. And then you, you walk away and you forget Start and you burn Netflix your muffins. Again. It's three hours in and your whole oven's on fire. Do you want to know what? <laughs> one time I forgot and I left a cake in the oven for three hours. Oh, no. And it was charred. It was like dirt. Like oh. it was so black and so burnt. I felt awful. That happened to me with <laughs> mac and cheese once. I was making it. And then I was finished making and I left the burner on. And like by the end, they were just like black, <laughs> crisp at the bottom of the yeah. pot. So this is why I'm not the expert. They are. <laughs> I'm learning the skills. <laughs> okay. Now you can see with Orbit's muffins that they're not as brown around the top. But I can... When I push down, see that one dents in a little bit. And that's just because it was on a lower yeah. um, shelf. So we're going to put these ones back in for about two minutes. And that's probably when. Oh, Carrington said mine looks great. That's so that's awesome, amazing. Karen. Make sure to t send us a photo of you doing it. And also let us know, do you put, a, do you put anything on your... Um, on Oops. your muffin, for me, Oops. I like a little bit of jam or butter, but I think these ones are going to be really delicious. So They're nice. really sweet just by themselves. So they are amazing, especially if you warm them up in the microwave a little bit, have yeah. it for breakfast, a little oh, treat. I better be taking these home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kaylee also said mine looks awesome. Allison Thompson, mine looks so good too. That is so good to that hear. That is amazing. Please, please, please send us in your photos. We want to send you a limited edition t-shirt. Um, and we would love to see how yours turned out. Yeah. Look at us. Okay. We've what got, what is your favorite cookie topping? Ooh. Ooh, cookie topping. I really love when you put Oreos yeah. in a cookie. It's like Ooh. a cookie in a cookie. That's so good. Like Inception. Yeah. But <laughs> um, yeah, I do really love chocolate chips mm. or like butterscotch chips. Ooh. Those are really good too. That's Have you ever made a blondie? I have actually. I've yes. seen those. So it's like a brownie, but without the cocoa. And basically, if you put butterscotch chips in with your blondie, oh, it's so good, guys. You have to try it. I'm a baby or maybe a, a grandma when it comes to my cookie choices. My favorite cookie is oatmeal, like oatmeal raisin. <laughs> That's really good, though. And I then mean, I, I like macadamia nuts, like. Oh, with white chocolate. Yes. Oh, those ones those are, are so my good. my favorite type of. Um, Cookie. I went to a macadamia nut farm and it was mm -hmm. awesome. So oh, the cookies are, are the cookies almost done? done. Let's have a look. Mine, um, I think the sprinkles were. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it spreads, kind of depends on the day with the humidity as well. Yeah. Um, this look one, <laughs> I can't even, it's going to tip. Oh, Maybe no. we can come into the, uh, we'll the shot here. here. It's spread a little bit. There we go. I love having caramel and graham crackers in my cookie. Alice, oh, that yeah. sounds like a good thing. So we're just going to pop this in just for a few more minutes. And, you know, that's okay if it didn't work out correctly. Um, you can it happens. You can these at home. Yeah. yeah, definitely it happens. Like I said, I left the cake in the oven for two hours or three hours. <laughs> Um, sometimes you mix up your salt and sugar and you think that you're going to bite into a delicious cookie oh. and you made it with salt and yeah. it tastes disgusting. Or you're like me and wanted to make waffles with powdered sugar on top and put baking soda instead. Oh, that would be so gross. terrible. <laughs> okay, so my two-minute timer is going off again. So I'm going to put my oven mitts back on. Thank you. My tray didn't fit in the oven, so. And thank you, Bex, for helping me out. You know, it's okay mm -hmm. to ask for help. Oh, definitely. Okay, these look fantastic. So now they're browning up around the sides. Yeah, Bex? all you, all you. To me? <laughs> yeah, now yeah. they're springing back on top. Perfect. So these are great. I'm so excited. Put these here. And I'm going to throw this one down the bottom. Has everyone sent in their photos? I made my cookie a tea because I made it for my brother. Tyler, Aww. that's so sweet. Showing kindness. That no one is turned really down. cool. What's another C word? No one turns down a cookie or a crepe. <laughs> a crepe. That's very specific. A cake? A cookie or a cake. That's true, yeah. I love abbreviations Aww. and alliterations. Well, you're in the right place. Oh, Kaylee asks, how has your day been? I mean, <laughs> I have a toddler at home, so I have been up since very early. Mm. Um, so my day feels a little bit long right now, but I've also had a lot of coffee. Yes, so I'm so well. excited to like tuck into these muffins when mm. we finish the, 
Oh, for <laughs> sure. Finish this so you won't see me with chocolate chips all over my face. For sure. Okay, we have some people asking how to send in their photos. You can send it on our website, muskokawoods.com backslash limited dash edition. There's a submission box there. Um, yeah, Spark has put it there. We would love, 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 love to you for you to send <laughs> in photos. Yeah. We love seeing what you've done this summer. Sing it with me, Bex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes it takes you a little while to get your recipes to come together. So if you are a bit behind, that's fine. Mm -hmm. This is the very first time I've used this oven. So these have different cooking times as well. Mm -hmm. Your oven could be the 25 minute one um, in the, that the recipe is asking for. So, you know, once this is done, you can just continue on. You can do the brownie in a mug. That one's actually baked in a microwave. Wow. So it's pretty much done. That's my um, recipe. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> um, and also on that same note, if you feel like you maybe did not work out so well with your muffins this time no worries we actually post these on our youtube for sure maybe our facebook as well but you can go over there check mm -hmm. them out and yep. that way uh you can watch along again and try maybe later on in this week and yep. continue to send in your photos we'd love to see that yeah oh have you do you bake things for your toddler someone asked um, I have baked for my toddler, but she, when she was just kind of starting solid foods, yeah. I was like, oh, I don't want her to have sugar. So I made her these little sugar-free muffins oh. and she didn't really like them. Yeah. So or like we kale haven't, muffins or something Yeah, like that. we haven't really gone into baking yet, but really? I know that she's probably going to love it. Actually, maybe we'll try some of this muffin today as a Ooh, special little treat. That, you um, guys heard it first here. Yeah. <laughs> Bex, have you ever made an upside-down pineapple cake? Oh, no, but I have made an upside down plum cake. Interesting. Oh, my gosh. Are those like is... the cakes you like? Yep. And then you kind of have to hold it and you're like, one, two, two three, three, flip. Right. Um, and you hope that it is cooked and it doesn't go everywhere once you flip it over. Oh, someone else has asked again, um, are you going to teach your toddler how to bake when she's older? Um, she's not going to have a choice. She oh. better be baking when she's older. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. And no, if she doesn't want to bake, that's totally fine. But I would absolutely love to teach her. I think that would make me very happy if she wants to bake. Yeah, I feel so. like some of my favorite memories, although we're not as experienced as Bex, <laughs> my grandparents have a special uh, oatmeal chocolate chip cookie recipe. Mm -hmm. And my grandma's really good at it. And my grandma passed it on to my mom. Yeah. So she used to do it with me. And now I, once in a blue moon, will have my little moment and yeah. cook everyone some of these cookies they're Aww. really really good i love those like family recipes yes. that have been like passed down mm -hmm. in the generations we still have the old recipes yes from like a couple of generations yep. ago yeah. it's like the one claim to fame that's <laughs> the one thing we know about my past but... oh that's so funny well all righty should we try to see if those my yeah. cookies ready all right here we go oh allison said my mom taught me um how to bake when uh, when you were two wow, wow. Okay, your cookie looks so good, but your sprinkles <laughs> did melt. <laughs> okay, uh -oh. we're going to come in to here, I'll move this over here. here. Look at that. Oh, you know Everyone. what? This is going to be so good. It's going to be like chewy on the inside and then crispy on the outside. I'm just. That's my favorite type of cookie <laughs> when it's like a little bit of both. It looks so appealing. Yeah. Oh, someone said it's a rainbow cookie. You know what? You're right. Always That's looking true. for the positives in this. Every cookie is unique. And. What about our, our muffins good? Should we give them a taste test? So, I mean, definitely, if you want to give them a taste test. And then we'll probably wrap it up because yeah. we're coming to okay. the end here. Do you want to try your muffin? or <laughs> <laughs> I think you should try your muffin. Okay, I okay. will. You can pull that one out maybe. Now, the muffins are still going to be hot, so please, please, please be careful. Usually, you want to give them about 10 minutes, but Orbit has super strong hands, so she yes. just pulled it straight out. You know what? Okay, I'm just going to, oh, you're on the other I'm screen. on this one? Yep. <laughs> so ignore the fact that my... <laughs> they did slip out. It happens, you know, it happens. I'm going to pull this here. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It is steaming. Ooh, that looks so good. It smells amazing. Okay, I'm going to take a taste test here. Oh, moment Can of you truth. See me? <laughs> Is it good? So good. I bet it's so good because it's all warm and gooey mm. on the inside too. That was amazing. Yeah. Oh, everyone, please send in our photos. We'd love to see them. Yeah. Bex, 
Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to finish eating these. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to say to the crowd before we head off? I sure do. Now, yes, I live here, but that's because I work here, and I am actually the camp store manager. Yes. And the camp store just launched online at campstore.muskokawoods.com. And we have some really cool things. And I just wanted to show you one of them, which is this tie-dye sweater. Now, this is one of our white sweaters. And we tie-dyed it pink. And we want to give you guys the opportunity, if you want to buy this very exact sweater, custom, one-of-a-kind pink tie-dye sweater. Never been done before. Never been done before. Then you can comment in the chats or you can email me mm -hmm. at campstore at muskokawoods.com. Or we just get in contact with Muskoka Woods however you want. Um, and we can sell this one to you. And I can send it and pass it all up. Awesome. Yeah. I know I'll be buying one. So maybe next summer we can match yeah. all of my friends who are watching. I know. And Spark was wearing the blue one that we did for her, which yep. is really cool. So we have the white sweater and the tie-dye kits. Or you can buy this pink one today. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here, It's Bex. been my absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. I've enjoyed. Next week, we are tuning in with Laura for dance. And here's a quick video about her now. Enjoy, my friends. We'll see you all later. Bye. Hi, Muskoka Woods. My name is Laura, and I'm so excited to be joining all of you on Tuesday, August 11th at 11 a.m. for dance. We're going to be talking about dance, and we're going to be learning a super fun dance number that you can do at home with your friends and family for the rest of summer. If you've been missing dance class with your friends in the boathouse or dancing along with us at opening day show and Friday finale, then this is your time to jump back in and dance along with us on Tuesday, August 11th at 11 a.m. See you there. Wasn't that awesome? And how cool is that pink tie-dye sweater? I'm not going to lie, I feel pretty awesome in mine, and I highly recommend either tie-dyeing your own Muskoka Woods gear or going and talking to Bex about getting that pink one. We're so excited to see you again on Thursday. Make sure you sign up for our Wild Adventure, which is ages 6 to 10, will be at 11 a.m., or for our Junior High Senior High Limited Edition, which is for ages 12 sorry, 11 to 16, which is at 2 p.m. We'd love to see you there, but for now we're signing off and we'll see you next time.